capsule. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. But yeah. when you when you see a marine, I feel like you can tell they're a <laughs> yeah. they have that look. No, they certainly work pretty hard. Yeah, and extremely disciplined. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Crazy weather. Yeah, a little bit of weather uh, impacting our area overnight. A little bit of severe weather actually in parts of the western hill country. Some hail up to golf ball size overnight. Wow. Actually, just bigger than golf ball size. But we avoided most of that severe weather here in the metro and elsewhere through central Texas. And all of us enjoyed some beneficial rainfall. Check out these totals that we got overnight coming to us courtesy of the LCRA network of rain gauges. Out in the hill country, one to two inches pretty much everywhere. 1.85 in Gillespie County near Willow City. An inch and a quarter per Dallas at John. City. Over here in the metro, we got in on the action as well. 1.03 Onion Creek at Buda near Flat Creek over in western Hayes County, almost two inches. Here in the metro, mainly just over an inch. I'll show you the official totals here in just a moment. Rainfall totals were a little bit lighter over towards the east, uh, just 0.7 or 17 hundredths rather northeast of Lockhart and about three quarters of an inch in Bastrop County at Big Sandy Creek. All right, official numbers coming to us. Check this out. Great news. Officially, an inch at the airport, 86 hundredths over at Camp Mabry. That puts us in a surplus now for the month of March, and it chips away. It takes a pretty good chunk out of our 2013 deficit. Good news there. All right, check, checking out uh, storm profiler radar. You can see those showers and storms have all moved off to the east. We might have a remaining sprinkle or two going through the early morning hours, but I do expect these all to clear out of here within just about an hour or two. Still dark this morning. Sunrise not coming up until about 745 since we've changed our clocks. Don't forget to do that if you haven't. 59 degrees, a little bit cooler behind the front. We're starting to feel those north winds, and those will be drying out the air as we go throughout the day as well. Temperatures colder over to the west where they're feeling the effect of the cold front a little bit more than we are down to the east. 63 in Flatonia, uh, low 50s to mid 50s mainly out in the hill country. Check out this line of showers and storms that rolled through overnight. It woke me up several times. Plenty of lightning. Fortunately, though, we did avoid most of the severe weather in most of our viewing area here. Here's a wider look at that storm. It's spinning up through northern Oklahoma into Kansas, and the counterclockwise flow around it is bringing in some drier air. That's going to break up these clouds in a hurry as we go throughout the day. In fact, we're calling for partly cloudy skies by about lunch. Time. We'll enjoy some sunshine uh, through most of the day. 68 degrees for our high temperature. We'll be cooled off a bit by these north northwesterly breezes, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those could get a little bit stronger, especially later in the day. Tonight will be cold thanks to that cold front. Mostly clear skies, 40 here in the city. I do think that uh, many locations out in the hill country could easily see a freeze. Northwest winds will continue at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Boy, uh, these next seven days are really going to be gorgeous. A little bit cooler tomorrow after that cool morning, but sunshine warmer on Tuesday after another cold start and we're enjoying the mid 70s all week whether it's spring break south by southwest whatever your plans are i do hope you get a chance to go out there and enjoy it aaron back